Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kazoo Cruiser on a day that ends in Y, and I'm still wondering why we don't have the pigs in Syria. I think I figured out why our illustrious president is sprouting flies. Now, I'm holding up a Freedom Tower that got knocked down by the Arabs, okay? It looks like that, and it's not Turkish, okay? It's Egyptian. That's corn. It's also flax. It's also cotton, folks, and it's also cannabis. And we know how to grow bamboo. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an uptown local train two stations away. Well, you can't see from sea to shining sea, but you can certainly see this, okay? And you can listen. And Obama, President Obama needs to see some really, really good doctors. He's been toxified by whatever they gave him in Mecca, folks, and it was probably a camel splat chemical uh, cocktail, okay? And I think that's why we're seeing him standing there uh, looking, looking very, very vacant. And people just wonder what happened to him. He's been infested by the yeast, okay? It's hard to explain it. It's a steroidal problem, uh, and he's at a, a peak in his lifespan, which if we don't detoxify him, by ushering him into the best medical guys, I think we're going to find out that uh, when he went to Mecca, uh, he got fed. A, 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 they poisoned him, okay, folks? They poisoned him. It's the oldest trick in the book. And what they did was they came in at the borders with friendship, and then they offered him a deadly cocktail. And look, that's what he did, okay? What's going on? Let's find him. He's still valuable. There he is, okay? They got some of that in him. And maybe they got some of that in him. Okay, uh, camel splat soup, folks. They probably fed him something. Oh, Mr. Obama, we're just so glad. Let's have some cook, home cooking, okay? And they cooked him up, and now he's half dead, okay? Now, we need to get him to some Jewish doctors because they know toxicology better than I do. They're the best doctors on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, there's an uptown local train, one station away. Now, remember... Uh, a scientist, Davis Gunpowder, uh, they just worked the principles that they understood. And now, you know, the metal stuff is all taken over. This is not metal. This is not wood. This is uh, very frail. And we're going to be growing it in Egypt. And we're going to be smoking it. And the animals like it. And the fish like it. And ramen noodles, how many people put bricks together? Uh, 50 pounds. Uh, use honey. Okay, that's the chemical bonding agent between the two polymers. Use honey. Um, and don't drop uh, your ammunition. I, got, I only get six of these at a time, folks. Uh, and I never use six minutes and 66 seconds. So uh, we put that a gap in the time there. And it's like looking across the uh, Grand Canyon at horizon level and then standing up a few feet and looking over uh, miles of uh, gorgeous territory that is intercepted, okay? Uh, all that's intercepted by air and time and everything else. You can't walk out there to enjoy it. You just have to stand at a safe distance. Now, we're going to float the next thing. Uh, we're floating the idea now. Uh, the boat, okay? The ramen noodles uh, won't stick together in the seawater, so we have to hold them together with uh, polypropylene. The next uptown local train is now arriving. So the Goodyear blimp guys, dust off that dirigible because you're going to be carrying a lot of this ramen across the deck. And here comes my train. That's good news. This is Kazoo Cruiser.